Welcome to Electron Online and here's our 10 video about what's so special about water. And in this case it's a little bit different from chemistry although it's somewhat related to that. But uh, it turns out that water has a very interesting history, especially the water on the earth. And when the solar system was first formed and the sun was a protostar which is much bigger than it is today as it was contracting gravitationally turning into a real star, the, lot of the energy radiated from the sun made the inner solar system extremely hot and so all the very small molecules would be existing in the gaseous state. So we would have hydrogen and oxygen in the gaseous state as, far as, as well as many other uh, gases. And the radiation from the sun drove, the radiation pressure from the sun drove those very small light molecules in gaseous state far away into the outer reach of the solar system where they ended up coalescing where it was very cold way out there into uh, solids, liquids and solids and of course eventually solids because way out there it's so cold that everything is pretty well solid there. Um, so the only remnants that were remaining that made the inner solar system the terrestrial planets were of course the heavy elements such as uh, silicon and mixed in with oxygen making rock and sand and all the metals. Half the, in, half the inner planets of course are made out of heavy metals. Those did not vaporize from the heat of the sun and so they were able to coalesce into these planet, planetesimals and eventually planets. So when the earth was formed 4.6 billion years ago there was no water on the earth to speak of, very little. There were no oceans, it was completely dry, very hot and no oceans, no water was present. But what happened over the years was all these icy bodies out there, which, which we now know as comets, there were billions and billions of them, they of course were um, interacting with each other gravitationally and once in a while one would get a pull or a tug and it would come streaming into the inner solar system. So millions and millions of years later comets started streaming into the inner solar system and started pummeling the planets. And once in a while one would hit the Earth, one would hit Venus, Mercury, Mars, Jupiter and so forth. But the ones on the Earth are the ones of course we're interested in. And so yes, the water was redeposited from the outer regions of the solar system back onto the planets including the Earth by these comet impacts. Each time a comet, which is basically a big dirty snowball or a big icy body, would come in, slam into the earth and deposit water and hundreds and hundreds of millions of these comet impacts over the many many years started filling up the oceans and the rivers and the lakes with water. So water has a very interesting original history. It didn't used to be there, it used to be way out there and as it came in it started pummeling the planets and depositing water. All the planets received water including Venus and Mercury and Mars Mars, we still find evidence that it had oceans and lakes on it once upon a time, but the fact that it's much smaller, it wasn't able to hold on to its atmosphere, and once the atmosphere was gone, the water would then disappear. Water cannot exist in a liquid state. If the pressure is too low, it will simply begin to boil. As it boils, the ultraviolet radiation will break up the water molecules, and the gases would disappear into space. Luckily for us, the Earth was just the right size, that had a nice atmosphere that didn't leave us, stayed around the Earth, keeping the pressure just right to have water in a liquid form on the earth. So with the atmospheric pressure we have on the earth, is this perfect? Water freezes at zero degrees, boils at 100 degrees centigrade, and we have lots and lots of water, oceans full of it, all deposited thanks to the many, many millions of comets that came streaking in and colliding with the planets. So water, as miraculous, as amazing that that molecule is, that's how we got it. And that's the end of our amazing journey through the what's so special about water molecule videos.